Hey everybody, welcome back to Woodland Road Fun Fair. In the last video I finished the backstory and in between the two videos I saved the park and tested a rough layout for the planned rides and just used paint to figure out where I was going to position the fun fair. And in this video I'm going to clear and flatten the site for the fun fair, fence it and put the rides, queues and shops down. I apologise again for my voice, I think I'm gradually recovering from my illness and I seem to have got some uh, tonality back and I can uh, speak for more than 30 seconds without coughing, so that's an improvement. Um, so in this video I'll just show how I've gone from the backstory of Woodland Park through to there being uh, just the basic uh, dumping of the uh, rides on the new site. So the first thing I did here was lay out the boundary of the park or the corners of the park and then the boundary uh, just using a building to represent the the background or the base I suppose of the of the layout or perhaps uh, like surveying it surveying the scene and putting in survey flags and I roughed in an access road just uh, enjoying the realism of trying to play out the backstory so and then uh, so I've got my uh, access road coming in here and then I've cleared the site and got rid of all the, the trees and um, and then made it look like maybe some vehicles have been driving back and forth on the site. Again, that's just me having having a bit of fun with it rather than it having any contribution to the final outcome. And then I've gone around and uh, put, sort of created the effect where, you, where the bulldozers have leveled the site and pushed earth to the boundary edges and then completely flatten the site off and... Um, uh, again, for just for my own entertainment, um, a, a making it look like it's uh, bare um, soil, uh, not, not topsoil, but the you know like clay soil underneath or something like that. So then I rip round and put flags down for where I think the path, paths are going to end up going, and made a, a sort of a rough a ruler w rule to um, guide me on the locations. And uh, once I'd got all that in, I'm building the fence now. For the fence, I built the foundation of the fence first to look like the concrete had been poured all around the boundary and then went back and constructed a panel fence uh, unit. And in both cases, I'm copying, uh, using advanced copy to uh, take a basic fence component and then copy it all around the outside. I've put in the um, access way from my access road into the site uh, just with an animated door there i haven't put in the main uh, access where the guests will come in because of course the guests are still wandering around my woodland park area and i haven't connected the paths up yet in the same way that i did the fences i've gone back and then put in boundary trees and once i had all the trees in i'm starting to dump in the flat rides i was quite conscious of the look of the rides from the um, approach paths so if you're wandering through the woodland park area as a guest and then you look towards the fun fair uh, maybe you can hear the noises and the sounds of the uh, the rides and the guests uh, yahooing and squ squealing in there and you look across and you want to be able to see uh, the larger rides uh, like a ferris wheel and so on uh, through the trees so i found uh, a few spots where i could make sure that the sight lines in from the paths outside the park could quite clearly see some of the rides that do uh, stick up above the tree line and once all the rides were placed that I wanted I've gone back and put um, queues in or entrances and exits and queues and the thing here is I have no clue what the relative um, popularity of these rides is going to be once the guests get in there and I'm not I didn't want to put too much thought into that because I'm in a hurry to get everything placed and tuning the park can come later after it's opened. So rather than burn time doing that during the creation phase, I've just placed the parks, put in winding queues that are long enough to uh, absorb a reasonable amount of queue time. And then later I can go back and manipulate how much queue there is for each of the rides based on their popularity or manipulate the ride sequences to manipulate the popularity. Uh, so uh, I guess I'm just deferring that problem until later. So on the video I'm going through each ride putting in the entrance and the exit. I'm using the same pattern like maybe it's a theme for the entire 
parked that they're using the same raw material for all of the queues. But each queue later will, will get um, decoration added to it. I'm not sure if I'll have time to uniquely decorate every queue. I might have to just use some sort of blanket decorative theme. Um, oh, the access pathway was slightly out of alignment with where the rides ended up, so I just pushed that over a wee bit. And then finally closing with the shops, stalls, information booths, toilets that I need to make it a functioning park. I was hoping to build the shops so that they would look like they were portable, uh, sort of prefabricated buildings. So I'm going to experiment in the next video with making the shops fairly small and a, sort of a standard size, like a standard railway wagon size. I've actually used sunken railway railway wagons as the um, approaches uh, to the shops in the next video. So in this video I'm just roughly placing them, orienting them correctly relative to where I want the path to go and then roughing out their shape to make sure that everything fits the way that I want. And, um, and then in the next video I'll come along and put my shop skins on the shops and decorate them so that that each shop is individual or unique relative to its function and then finally in this recording session I went through all the menus and found all the signs relative to the various themed shop brands and dumped those signs onto the uh, shop buildings so that I could then go back and just start working my way through integrating those signs into the um, shops. So that's it for this video and I'll see you again in a few days with the next video in the series. Bye for now.